It's not the vibe, it's not for me, it's not what we're going for. Like damn, she and her mood. 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 She lit, the money too. Like damn, she and her mood. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nyla. I make lifestyle content, so mostly vlogs, with a little bit of beauty and fashion sprinkled in. So if you're not already part of the family, make sure you come join the family. You're gonna love it here because everybody loves it here. That's all fucking period. So, yeah. Hit that subscribe button and come join the family. So today we are doing a January beauty favorites video. So if you've been following me on TikTok, which if you're not, I have no idea what you're doing. Make sure you go follow me. It's at simply Nyla Imani, just like my Instagram handle. It's linked down below as well. And I might put it on the screen or a QR code. We'll see what editing that does. If you can follow me on TikTok, you would know that I've been buying a lot of beauty products, makeup products in particular, during the month of January. Now, I had planned to film this video like a lot earlier, so at the end of January, once I was done buying stuff, so that this could have been done, put up a little bit earlier in February, but obviously that didn't happen, so we're filming it today. So I have a mix of skincare and makeup products, which is why I'm calling this a beauty favorites, but most of it is makeup products. We're gonna start with skincare first. So I have the Rode Glazing Milk. This is like my holy, 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 holy grail. It's not a toner, it's technically an essence. I don't really use a toner, so this functions as like a toner slash essence for me. And I really do feel that my skincare products that I apply right after this go on really, really well. For me personally, I would say if you are going to try, I'm gonna show you two other products from Rode, but if you are going to try any other products from Rode Skin, the Glazing Milk is the number one thing that I will absolutely always recommend. It makes your skin so soft. And if you are into that glass skin dewy look, I'll put a picture of myself up on the screen. You might also be able to see it peeking through a little bit in my makeup. But if you are into that glass skin type of look, this is going to help you achieve that. Love, love, love her life. I will always repurchase her because she down. Next, we have the Rogue Skin Barrier Restore Cream. So I don't know what is going on outside with the weather, who's controlling the weather machine, but something is in the air and it's making my skin very dry this like winter season. I don't have dry skin, I have combination oily skin. While my skin might be like a tad bit dry during the winter, I feel like it's never been like this dry. So I can't use my typical like water cream type of moisturizer. That is what I typically use because as someone who has combination oily skin, those types of like lightweight water creams, gel creams typically work a lot better for my skin because they're not too heavy. But right now my skin needs a lot more moisturization than what that cream provide that cream right now is not moisturizing enough for my skin but this from rose skin is it's not too heavy it's a much like thicker and richer moisturizer than what i'm used to typically using however it doesn't make my skin feel like it's clogging my pores or that it's too heavy because typically when I've used like heavier moisturizers in the past, my face will start to sweat. And I believe that it starts to sweat, especially around my nose because it's too heavy for my skin. But this is like the perfect consistency. I love it, love it, love it, love it so much. So she has really been helping me out during the winter season. The last skincare product and last product from Rode is gonna be the Rode Peptide Lip Treatment. So I, this is a re-up for me because I've also used this before and I really like this. I like it more than the Summer Fridays lip balm, but my number one lip balm is going to be Topicals, Always and Forever and Black Owned Business. But this is like number two right after it. It's very moisturizing, very hydrating. Um, so I typically use this at night and then I use my topicals one during the day. So yeah, now we're gonna move on to makeup. We have two Milk Makeup products from their Hydro Grip line. We have the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm not a primer girly. I just like to do my skincare really well and do my makeup right on top of it. And I feel like my makeup always eats, it always comes out really, really well. But I have been incorporating this Hydro Grip uh, this Hydro Grip Primer. This is like a staple for a lot of um, makeup artists, makeup enthusiasts. The girls on TikTok love it. 
I feel like it's a cult classic, a fan fave at this point. It's been out for a few years. I'm just late to the game because like I said, I wasn't using primers before, but ever since I started using this, I feel my, like, uh, Nyla, slow down. I feel like my makeup has been coming out even better and it's lasting. My makeup always lasts long, but I feel like it's lasting even better. So yeah, and then I think this Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray is like making my makeup like melt into my skin. It also provides a little bit of a glow. I only sprayed it once today, but when I do my no makeup makeup look, I spray it like twice. My face is already more glowy when I do a no makeup makeup look, which hopefully a video with my no makeup makeup routine since I finally cracked the, I really figured out what works best for me, but this helps even more. But yeah, your makeup is not going anywhere when you use this and it's very hydrating. So yeah. Speaking of no makeup makeup looks, we're going to get into two products that have been very crucial to my routine. First is gonna be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Gel. This is the mini size because I wanted to try it before I invested in the big boy. But I've found that when doing my no makeup makeup look, I would rather just, especially because my brows are pretty like full. When I do a beat full face like this, I actually use a pencil and fill them in. But if I'm gonna do a no makeup makeup look, I would just rather brush them up, excuse me, and then use the brow gel to like kind of like make sure that they stay in place and then clean up under them with concealer. I feel like that makes my makeup look a lot more natural when I do my no makeup makeup look. Yes, I have makeup on my face, but it's not to this level. It's a much more natural kind of beat. That's what I've been using to do my brows. And then as far as like complexion is concerned, for a no makeup makeup look, you can really just use concealer if you want. But if you're a skin tint, BB cream, lightweight foundation type of girly, the Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint is going to be for you. She leaves more of a dewy finish. Before I purchased this, I had got the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops, and if it didn't peel on my skin almost every single time I would wear it, I would have kept it, because I actually really do like that product, and I would highly recommend it. I will say that I like the finish on this one better, because it's more dewy. The Fenty Ease Drops are more of a natural finish. It's not matte. It's like a demi matte, like some of your natural oils can still peek through, but I like this better because I like, if it's just like a regular day and I don't have any makeup on my skin, it's glowy, right? So if I'm doing a no makeup makeup look that is not doing too much and it's just trying to make me look a little bit more put together, I still want to look a little bit glowy versus when I do a full face, I don't want to look matte when I have a full face on. I want you to still see the glow a little bit but I don't want it as glowy as if I'm just going out with my regular normal skincare or if I'm doing a no makeup makeup look. So love this, she's very lightweight. You can build her up. I'm in the shade 15 by the way, it was the closest match to my skin. Also application wise, I have applied it with a brush, like a, a brush with like looser bristles, not a dense brush. Um, and I've also applied it with my fingers. I feel like it works best with your fingers. It applies fine with a brush, but I like the way it looks better when I apply it with my fingers. And then like I do when I apply regular foundation, I always go over everything with the butt of the beauty blender. So yeah. Speaking of foundations, we have a new fade that's gonna be in rotation with my NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I'm in the shade 440, which is medium deep cool. I used her today, so that's what I have on my face. I really, 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 really like her. She's not matte, which I love. I don't do matte foundations anymore. I don't like my skin looking like that anymore. It's just, it's not the vibe, it's not for me, it's not what we're going for. Lady Gaga and her team, they did their big one and their shade range is really, really good. So love her, love her life. I have these LYS bronzer and contour sticks. So I actually have on one of the shades today. I have two different shades. One of them is darker than the other. I'm, I use the darkest shade today. The darkest shade, which is Strength. It's a much darker brown. And then we have Courage, which is a much lighter brown. I used the darker shade today and that's what I'm gonna be using for a full beat. Now when you put it on your skin or you swatch it, you're gonna be like, mm, this looks a little too dark, but it blends out like a dream. It's so soft and buttery smooth. Also, tip, I like to put it on the back of my hand 
and then take a brush and then put it on my face I feel like the application is better if you put it directly on your skin which I've also done before you can still blend it out fine I just think it works better even when I use like a liquid concealer that I'm gonna use as a contour I put it on the back of my hand and then do it that way because I I feel like the application is just better then when I'm gonna do a no makeup makeup look I use the lighter uh, shade which is courage um, because it looks a little bit more natural like you can still tell that I'm bronze but it looks a little bit more natural so yeah love those they are smooth like butter oh and LYS is a black owned brand as well so shop with them it's also black history month next for complexion actually before we do powdered complexion we are going to talk about Juvia's place because she her blushes have been the talk of the town on TikTok. Because some people have said that it's too pigmented, baby. That's because they're made pigmented on purpose so that they can work on darker skin tones. You could quite literally just pick a shade that maybe isn't as bright and it would work for you. But anyways, we have the Juvia's Place liquid blushes. I have Pink Lady and Barbie Rose. I believe I used Pink Lady today when I did my makeup and then I put the powdered blush on top. I mixed two of the powder blushes from Juvia's Place and put it on top and she looks really pretty. I look this way because I'm using my computer. I mean, not my computer, my TV as a monitor. So really, really love her and I want to try these in other shades as well. So highly recommend. Other two complexion products, powder bronzer this is the NARS Laguna bronzing powder in shade 6 it's really really pretty I use this to set the cream bronzer stick that I use from LYS I really like this typically I use Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy I like this shade a little bit better than Mocha Mommy it's not as red and then the last powder product complexion product that we have is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush uh, brightening flawless finish Complexion Perfecting Eye and Face Micro Powder. She's bright. I didn't use her today because I'm not going anywhere. I literally did my makeup to film this video, but she's bright. If I was going out, I would take my little powder puff, which I'm gonna show you in a second. I would use it to apply the brightening powder under my eyes specifically just to brighten it up a little bit more. I already use lighter concealer under my eye, but, and then I set it with a, and a powder type color I use banana bread from Huda Beauty but today I use peach pie and I really like the way that it looks but then I would go in with this as the last powder that I use underneath my eyes so love this and then speaking of setting powders and putting that under our eyes we have these little um powder puffs these are from amazon they have been a favorite for me this month they are so cute if you watch anybody do makeup lately especially like on tiktok all the girlies are using this to some girls use this to like blend out their foundation their concealer and stuff i haven't tried it for that so we might try that and see how i like it but i definitely use this to put my powder on and i really love the way that this works so this came in a set of six i already have two out that i'm currently using i also want to see if these can just be washed and reused i don't see why not i want to see if i can basically just wash them and reuse them i don't see why not so yeah and then last thing another product or another two products from juvia's place these are their lip glosses they have a specific name are they on here this is from their coffee shop collection they're the uh the coffee shop lip glosses this one is a uh, cream de cacao and then this one is dulce latte and i actually have both of them on my lips with the amicole lip oil on top um, and I have a NYX brown liner on, but yeah, for lip glosses, this is what is on my lips right now. And this is what I've been using recently, and it's my new favorite lip combo that I'm using on my lips. So I really, really like these. I also want to get these in other colors. So yeah, that is the end of my January beauty favorites videos. I really am in love with all these products. I have been using them like religiously over like the past month since I've accumulated and bought these products. And yeah, we're taking a little break from spending money at Sephora and Ulta on buying beauty products probably until maybe like March because that's my birthday month. I actually have some stuff in my Sephora cart right now just to buy at like a later time. So we're already preparing. So yeah, that's my 
my beauty favorites video, my January beauty favorites. So I hope to incorporate more of these videos on my channel. So let me know down in the comments how you like this style of video. Was it engaging for you? What will you be purchasing? Did I influence you? Everything will be listed down below. So yeah, I love you guys so much. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Come join the family. You're going to love it here because everybody loves it here. Like I said in the intro of the video, that's on period. So yeah, love you guys. And I will see you beautiful people in the next video. Bye y'all.